So, we just got back from the movie theaters and I am amazed. I love this movie so much. After Toy Story 3, I thought this was it. Like, So Long Partner was the end of Toy Story. But they managed to make a fourth movie and it was absolutely amazing. I saw the first 15 minutes in Toy Story Play Days in Disneyland Paris, which made me even more excited about the movie. And after seeing it, I didn't thought it was possible, but I love the spork. I love Forky, he's so adorable. He isn't my favorite character though. Bunny and Ducky are hilarious. They're definitely my favorites in this movie. And actually, I liked all the new characters. I liked Gabby Gabby. I liked Giggle McDimples. I liked Duke Kaboom. Keanu Reeves did such an amazing job on that one. In the meantime, that's one of the things I didn't like about the movie, the only thing I didn't like. I wish I saw more of the old toys, like I wish I saw more Rex and Slinky and Jesse and Bullseye. All of those characters, they were in the movie, but not as much as I hoped they would be. Um, but still, the new ones were so funny, so that was very good. Also, I love the girl power that Bo Peep had now. Um, she's really a strong woman, so that's very fun to see. What I also loved is that, like I said at the end of Toy Story 3, you felt like, okay, this is it, they can't do anything more than this. After this movie, there's still a lot of possibilities if they want. I don't know if they will ever make a fifth or a sixth or a seventh Toy Story, but if they want, they could. I mean, the ending is so open that they could do anything with it, I think. I also, the animation was, sometimes you were forgetting that you were watching like an animated movie. Of course, then you realize it's about toys, so you saw it again. But it's, they did such an amazing job on that, and it's so beautifully done. I think they also listened to my last review of Aladdin, because once again I stayed all the way till the end, and they did something at the end. I don't know if you already saw the movie and you stayed at the end or not, but you sh should stay. Like I said, I went in premiere, and normally when I stay at the end, we were the only people staying like that, but now there were a lot of people waiting, so there were a lot of hardcore fans uh, in the movie theaters with me. And everybody was waiting for it, and we were like, it's not coming anymore. But all the way at the end, you know, like you have the rolling credits, nothing's there. And you see the castle again, nothing's there. And then the Pixar sign comes again, and normally the Pixar lamp jumps on the eye again and puts off the light. Now something else happens. It's not much. Maybe you think it's not worth waiting so long, <laughs> but I thought it was hilarious. If you saw the movie, I'm not going to tell you what's going to happen because then I will spoil it. It's no fun, but I, I would stay for it again. It's so funny <laughs> at the end. It's very small, but it's hilarious that they thought of that. So I really loved it. Like I said, it would be fun to be to see more Rex or Slinky, but all the new characters are amazing and they can can't put all the characters uh, at an equal long dialogue because then the movie would go on forever. But Forky is amazing, Bunny and Ducky are amazing, the voice actors did once again such an amazing job. I absolutely love Toy Story and I was afraid because, especially because a lot of people were like, it's so amazing, I was afraid that I was not going to like it um, because I had too high expectations but I really loved it, so I would really recommend to see it and to stay all the way at the end. Bye!